Welcome back to the channel and welcome in perfect harmony. I don't know if that makes sense, but the wall behind me makes sense because it says harmony in downtown Chicago. Myself, Adam the Woo, hanging out this morning. I came to town for baseball, hang out with you, watch some baseball. Yeah. Also, and we're going to a game Cowbell Max is here today. We're gonna link up with him in a few minutes. Just waking up from his uh, from his snooze fest. He had a good time last night. Even though we didn't win, we all had a good time. But we were all excited. Deep sleep, great sleep. Today, I'm not gonna vlog the entire baseball game that we're going to. You gotta enjoy, you gotta see things with I your got, own eyes. I always say I love Chi-Town. Like I said at the beginning of the last video, this is like my sixth visit to Chicago in the last seven months. The last uh, time I was here was a filming location and all those times were filming locations, but I never got a chance to like see the Chicago things. And so we're gonna do that today. Just gonna show you what, I'm just gonna follow this guy. We're just, I, I have no game plan. All other right. than going to a game, which I have a plan there, to eat a hot dog. I like that plan. Other than that, no yeah. game plan. No game plan today. Just firing up this camera, come with me. As much ahead as always, oh yeah. And we parked in this parking lot. Check out this giant mural, this moose blowing some gum. That's a big bubble. That's really awesome. And also there's this mural over here. Love giant murals like this. Talented. Some would say graffiti, but these aren't really graffiti. This is art. I'm sure it was sanctioned. And first stop, we're gonna grab some coffee over here. I see a Dunkin' Donuts on the horizon. Right there, passing underneath the train tracks. Probably see some trains here. All aboard! Here comes the train! Yeah, I feel like it's gonna fall. See that every day in Florida. You don't see that in Florida every day. Dunkin's open 24 hours. It's a 24-hour Dunkin' Donuts. Check this out, and it's going to come in really handy, as he would say. A piping hot, caffeinated beverage would be good right now because it's chilly. It's chilly. And shout out to Chris the girl. She loves her Dunkin' too. They have a lot of bananas in here. That's bananas. And life just got a whole lot better. This is going to hit the spot. It's also warming the hands. And we met up with Cowbell Max. We're checking out the Tropicana machine. I spotted this thing across the parking lot. The Trop has followed us all the way to Chicago. Heavily, heavily stickered. They made me look. Made you look. This thing's pretty awesome. Day two. Day two. On the way. We're gonna hang out, see some Chicago stuff, and uh, a raise win today. Raise win raise today. Win yeah, today. we're going to the game. I know I predicted five to two yesterday, but today you did. The Rays are bouncing back. It's all right. We're getting some runs on the board, baby. Yep. We're getting, we're gonna, we're getting it today. Board. We're getting it. I can't wait to get out to the stadium. We're taking a little walk to the Bean. We're gonna go see the Chicago Bean. Five blocks up, one block over, heading over to Michigan Avenue to see the beam. Here comes another train. This is so cool to watch. As this trade's about to pass over. Where are we right now? We're on Wallbash Street. Right here, this building to the right, more so to the one to the right, is the filming location from Child's Play. Oh, Chucky! The toy, the toy store. This is where Chucky was created. It's a little loud right now because of the trade. Yeah, right here is where Charles Lee Ray took possession of the good guy doll. And it looks a little different the last time I was here. Oh my gosh, it's changed a lot. It looks like they're gonna make it into a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, I did that filming location about a year ago. It's changed a little bit. Check this out, this is the alleyway. Opening shot, right down there, Charles Lee Ray being chased by the police in the opening shot of Child's Play. I did those locations, I wanna check those out. They're in the much behind, but right back there is where that film started. And there's another Duncan. It looks like Chicago runs on Duncan. Walking between the Chicago Public Library and the Harold Washington 
ramp up to the train down here. Adam's gonna share a, a filming location on his video. I'll try to document it for you. Dad from a Christmas story. A Christmas story, also, yeah. Also, Adam Sandler's dad and Billy Madison was in a TV Ooh. show in the 70s called Kolchak. Kolchak, right, right here. Right here was his office right here on this corner. The lower left one? The lower yeah, right one? I, honestly, I just happened to walk past this, but I believe I do not know the answer to which one it was. <laughs> but it was one of these. It was one of these corners. And they show it many times. I think it might have been the the bottom one there. I remember you showing it before. I think yeah, I think it a, was the bottom one. It's been yeah. a few years. But that's pretty neat. Yeah, the dad from a Christmas story. And and Happy Go War. I, did, oh I, I forgot about no, that. Happy Gilmore. Gilmore. Oh no, Billy, Billy Madison. Billy Madison. Ooh. Back to school. Back to school. Back to school to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. Got my bag. CK. <laughs> the sea is silent. I love walking through the streets of Chicago, just taking our time. This is awesome. I really admire the uh, 20th century architecture. It's always amazing how these trains just like go right above everyone. Just like in Philly and, and uh, New York. That's what it reminds me of. And there's the bus. You can always take the bus. Bye bye bus. Look up there. There's something coming out of that window. Way up there. Oh my gosh, that window's open. Hope everyone's okay. Hope nothing falls. That would be a pretty bad fall. Wow. What is that? Looks like we have DePaul University here on the corner and across the street, one of the fanciest Barnes and Nobles I've ever seen. Barnes and Nobles Cafe even. It looks like it's the, uh, oh, it's the DePaul Center. It's part of the campus. Check it out. DePaul University. Check this out. This little alleyway here, this little nook. There's a coffee shop down there. That is adorable. There it goes. Gonna do a lot of trade shots today, I guess. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. It's amazing what man can create. Adam's checking out this vintage Kodak camera sign right here. That's pretty sick. That's so sick. You know, I love that kind of stuff. Central Camera Company. The neon. Oh wow. Oh, I'll go around to the other side real quick. That has been there for a long time. Long time. So cool to look at. Dun, 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 dun. Du, 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 du. I like that sound. Du, 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 du. Getting pumped for the game? Bro, I'm just pumped to see the Rays win, baby. Let's go! Let's do Woo! Cowbell Max, man. We're getting. Yeah, it's a, the it's shadow. The end of 66 here in Chicago, Illinois. No way. Right here, all the way from Santa Monica, right? Yep, starts in Chicago, into Santa Monica, or starts in Santa Monica, into Chicago. Michigan Avenue. So beautiful. Looking to the north here, and this way, the south. And the Chicago Bean is more so on the north side of the park. That way. So we're heading that direction. Not to be confused with the uh, New York Public Library on 5th and 42nd in Manhattan, New York. But the Art Institute of Chicago kind of looks like the Manhattan or the New York Public Library, especially with these lines out here. Reminds me of Ghostbusters. Look at this guy. He's huge. Just one here and one right down over there. And this building over here to the left, Adam was just pointing out in his video. I always think of the same thing every time I see it. But that's the building from Adventures in Babysitting, classic 80s movie, when they're climbing on the top. Right there. And the garden off to the right of the institute, some sculptures, some sculptures over here. We're gonna see a big one though, a very iconic sculpture, the Chicago Bean, which is just about a block up this way. This is 
Monroe, Monroe Street right here. About to cross Monroe. Oh, check it out. Food Bus Central. Ooh, some Tex-Mex here. Get some tacos. I don't know, it's a little early for tacos. Don't think I'm gonna get anything just yet. Probably wait and get some dogs at the game. This is nice. It smells great. Check it out. Mr. Quiles. I like it. And Max is hungry, so he's going to get some Mr. Quiles. Los Burritos. Look at the little cute donkey there to the left of Max as he's ordering tacos. I don't know, now I'm tempted to buy some food. I'm getting hungry just smelling all this stuff. We've got Sausage Fest here. Vegetarian sausage and just regular sausages and bratwurst. Those oh, look, the, oh dude, that's those, hot, it's too hot. It's too <laughs> hot. Those look I was good. about to take a huge bite, but it's too hot, guys. Oh, wow. It's too hot. Now that you had a bite. Excellent. Those look excellent. Ooh. Done. And we got like three hours until the game starts, so we're just chilling. It's really cool just to walk around Chicago, relax, not having to like track down filming locations, being on a uh, like a a timed uh, time trip. It's very nice. I'm not used to that. I always come here on a very tight schedule. So very cool to be walking around with friends. And here we are, Millennium Park. This is the layout. We are here on Michigan, actually right here, and we're heading to the Bean, which is like dead center, I think. I think that's the Bean. It sure does look like one. Yep, Granger Plaza. Whoa, check this out. All kinds of artsy fartsy stuff going on in here. I like it. Heading towards the Bean. You can actually see it, the sun reflecting right there. Here we are, real time approaching Millennium Park, the Bean, for the first time. All right, there are go more. Rays. Go Rays, go Rays. Up. let's go. Yeah, look at that. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, I like it. But back to the Bean. A lot of fans, man. Wow, look at this thing. This is awesome. I regret not coming here sooner, but cool, I can come here for the first time with friends. I think it's like a magical string bean. Is a string? There's a string on it? A magical string bean. Okay. There might be a string in there. Look at all the people taking photos, selfies, whatnot. This is by far a tourist attraction. We'll get a little bit closer in a second, but I'm just showing you. So many people. Around. All the buildings, soaking it all in. It's pretty fascinating. As you were saying, you thought it'd be bigger? Yeah, I thought it would be a little bigger, honestly. Yeah. Now I can see why it's so eye-catching. It just gives off such a reflection. There's nothing like it I've ever seen. It reminds me of the T-1000 like balling up or something from Terminator 2, Robert Patrick. Yeah, that's exactly what it. Pali mori mele aloi, or something like that. So, Schwarzenegger said something like that. All right, I'm getting closer. Where am I? Oh, there I am, right there. This is awesome. And then people are like under here. Taking pictures too. There I am. Oh, there's Adam. Oh, there we are, right there. Right there. Hi. Still got your coffee. I just finished mine. All right, we're gonna walk underneath the bean. Check this out. Whoa. This is weird. Super weird. Whoa. We're like so far away. Wow, look at that. Cheers. This is so weird. It's not even that If you take a screenshot, no, it'll last longer. Awesome. You can reach up and touch it. Yeah, it does. It's like an optical. And wind. then right in the center, it looks like we're like. Wow. Right. Way down there. Like I'm looking down, but I'm not. I was looking up. This is down. So cool. And here's the back side of the bean. I would say the northwest, you can make out the skyline. If you get really close, it almost looks like you're looking at the skyline. Check it out. Is this real? Or is this real? I'll let you decide. 
It's the Matrix, man. It's the Matrix. All right, watch your step here, going down. That's so cool. It's awesome. It's like a mirror. The triumphant. It's not even hot. I've been holding this coffee. It's now cold. It's not piping hot I've been anymore. Holding this for a while. Get rid of it. It is. It is about half full of chilly, frosty, caffeinated beverage. I'm gonna just throw it, throw it away. Like you said, half full, not half empty. Shows a lot. Tells a lot. And we're heading to the Buckingham. Where are we going? The, the Buckingham. Buckingham. Oh, that's right. The Buckingham. The Buckingham Palace. I wish. That would be great. Maybe for another day. But we're going to the Buckingham Fountain where they shot the opening. I know you shared that before. Love and marriage. Love and marriage. And also the Griswolds Love drive by marriage. for a brief moment. Right. It's the same stock footage, right? No. Or is it just not stock footage? They no. drive by it. Now, now that I say that, I should probably have confirmed that before I stated that and put that onto the inter internet. <laughs> but when I did my location video, National Lampoon's Vacation, it was great. One of your best. It. I yeah. think they drove by it. I think they it's did. It's been a few years. And I've slept since then. I've slept since then, but I've seen your video. It was very good, and I really enjoyed it. So it's an honor to go over there with the filming location legend and see this. Thank you. You're welcome. Love and marriage. Do you remember married with children? Um, Honestly, no. You're probably not married with children, I'm assuming. No, I'm, I'm just, oh, just a question. Try, trying to live my best life, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He said it all right there, folks. Love and marriage. Love. I've never been married. I don't have any children, but I do love Al Bundy. You know what? I do love Al Bundy. Be, Adam, I want to go home and watch some myth, uh, Hondo. The, the man, the myth, the woo. Yes. Do you like Hondo? Do my new slogan. The man, the myth, the woo. The man, the myth, the woo. I'm not a legend. I'm just a woo. <laughs> He's a the legend of the woo. Heading to the fountain, but saw this set of tracks here. It just looks really cool. No train coming right now, but it passes right underneath Millennium Park. So there's trains actually going underneath the bean, which is back that way. Very cool stuff. Now back over along Michigan, walking upside the park, check it out. Congress Hotel over there. Looks to be about 120 something years old. Maybe older, I don't know. Here's the main gates of Millennium Park. The fountain should be somewhere down to the left, Buckingham Fountain. And there are some trains on the tracks right here at Van Buren Street before they head under the city. They're stopped right here. Simply because you can see it from just walking around, you know, off of Lake Michigan. All different types of angles. Yep. Like so many different angles. I agree. It's one of the best. I just noticed it's 10:30 in the morning already, and they still have the lamp posts on. The lights are still on. I need to turn the lights out. Chicago, save some energy. <laughs> just an observation. The lights are still on. The lights are on, but nobody's oh, home. There it is. Straight ahead. Right there, yeah. Buckingham, straight ahead. I figure that out. They're like raised blue, they're beautiful. If Chris the girl was here, she'd know what they are. Here we come, little fountain. No, not a little fountain. It's a huge fountain. Look at this, just the silhouette right now, but we're coming up on it. So it's drain, but here it is, my first time. I've passed it on US Highway 41 over there, Lakeshore Drive several times, but I've never been right up on it. And it is impressive, larger than I thought. Very big. I wish there was actual water flowing through the fountain right now so you can see. But there it is, the iconic Buckingham fountain as seen in the opening. I always think of that myself. Married with Children, classic show. I used to watch that show uh, as a young boy with my parents. No, that's only like two, like two and a half feet. That's not too bad. It's probably frowned upon though, Max. Yeah. You go first though, if you wanna- I've you done wanna... some things in my days that were frowned upon <laughs> and it came back to haunt me. <laughs> Trust me. You're looking around. <laughs> he's gonna- I'm thinking about I'm, it. I think I'm he's a- the area. <laughs> Don't woo it. Don't woo- Hey Don't... man, hey Max. <laughs> Don't woo it. <laughs> Don't bundy that book. Yeah, there you go. And check it out to the left over here. Buck's Bar. Like Uncle Buck? Hey, he's from Chicago. And there it is, beautiful. Check it out. All right, we're rolling out. Gotta get to the ballpark. Oh, 
Photo bomb. Oh, sorry. And there's the fountain. One more look. We're walking to the car, going to the game. Going to show a little bit of that. Just a little bit. So I had a little issue this morning. I didn't get my video uploaded last night. I fell asleep. So just now, I have T-Mobile, so it takes a while. Just now, I got my video uploaded, and I'm about to launch it. Yesterday's video. If you watched it, thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you watching this one too. Oh, finally a little train action underneath the park. There you go, that's awesome. Heading to the south side of Chicago, aren't we? Aren't we all? That's a lot. Here we come, guaranteed rate stadium. I'm really fascinated with this Congress Hotel. It looks awesome. I might Google uh, Google up something later, do a little research, just just for the thrill of it. This look, is what people want to Look, coming right where we parked, an advertisement for Tampa I Bay. Pointed this out. Florida's most adventure. That's so random. That is random. And it's the Tropicana machine. The Tropicana. And we got, what the heck? Vending machine. In Chicago? And we randomly parked here. Visit Tampa Bay. Oh my gosh. And here we are back at Guaranteed Rate Stadium for our second of the series. Our Tampa Bay Rays versus the Chicago White Sox. Straight to our seats, baby. Just gonna show a little bit of the game, not much. A little different than last night. Check it out, a lot of people coming into the game. And we were all handed a Liam Hendricks bobblehead doll when we entered, but I think I'm gonna give this away. Yep, for obvious reasons. Brett Phillips said he had family here, so he came into the stands and greeted his family. Look at that. That's heartwarming. Good guy. Stand up guy there. First pitch. Beautiful day for baseball. Go red. Got myself a polar sausage here behind the hedge. Check it out. Not a bad spot to eat a dog or a or a sausage. It is one nothing Rays and I'm really enjoying this baseball game. Yeah! Yes! Let's go! Yeah, Mason! Let's go! Wonder, yeah! Let's go! All right. We just tied the game. Go home! Go home! Yeah! If they don't win, it's a shame because they're losing right now. It's one, two, three strikes here out at the old ball game. Come on, Rays, we gotta win this. One. That was a beautiful hit by Brett. Base hit. Kept us in the game. Come on, G-Man. Guaranteed rate stadium. They have this horse. Check it out, a police horse. Little mural here. But the real thing over this way. And there's the real thing. Check it out. Beautiful horses there. It's awesome. And not too far from Guaranteed Rate Stadium, Chinatown. We thought we'd walk down here, do a bit of walking and possibly get some food. This will be my second visit to Chinatown. Right over here, this fire station is one of the many fire stations 
that was used in backdraft. So I came down here to show the backdraft location right over here, this station. Well, here we are, Chinatown. You guys hungry? I could eat something. Yeah, walking beneath this archway, check it out. Very old, it's been here a long time. I've also been to Chinatown in San Francisco, New York, Philadelphia, and LA. I've been to a lot of Chinatowns. I'm probably missing one. This building's pretty awesome. It's called the, I'm probably butchering it, but the Pew Tuck, Tuck Center. Really cool, right to the right of the archway. A lot of restaurants in here. Oh, there's some dim sum. That's a cool sign, Triple Crown. Well, we came to Chinatown, but we've decided to get a little Vietnamese cuisine. We're gonna go with some pho. Some pho noodles, love pho, I've been eating it for so long. And it's called the noodle. The size of this pho is phenomenal. All right, so this is how I always eat my pho. I put it on the sriracha, which is the red stuff, the hoisin, which is the brown stuff. And then I throw the leaves and the uh, one jalapeno, a squeeze of lime in there, and the bean sprouts. And that's it, you go to town. Adam all also got a bow, bowl there. Check that out. And what? he got the beef. You got, got the some beef bow, baby. Let's get it. I tried. Actually, I ate all, most of my noodles here. And the chicken, just a lot of broth. That was a huge portion though. That, that bowl, massive, faux-licious, phenomenal. And, and any other pun I can fit into this shot. That's it. All right, making our way through Chinatown. Gonna walk around a bit, maybe get some dessert now. The sun's going down and, and it's got a bit more chillier out here. Ooh, this Florida blood is thin. Back over at the Triple Crown restaurant, there's people dining up there on the second floor. Check it out. Looks like a fancy restaurant. Back at the archway, making our way this way. This is like the old main stretch of Chinatown down this way and then there's like a newer kind of area over there, Chinatown Central. And there's a train in the distance and the skyline of Chicago. Love this town. Chinatown Gateway, that's what they call it, the gateway. I remember the one in San Francisco kind of looking similar to this one, but a lot smaller and older. Oh. Train. It's a bull bank, I almost said piggy bank, but it's a, it's a bull bank. It's banking. It's warm out here, isn't it? Just three. It's cold. <laughs> it's so just, cold. Just three kids in one. He's got his head up. I might be doing that too. My ears. I can't feel my ears. It's April. Isn't it supposed to be like April showers, May flowers? Well, my friends, next May, it doesn't get warmer. Those flowers are going to be frozen. Oh, man. That's the second set of lions I've seen today. Look at the like lion gargoyles poking out of the side of the brick building. Don't see that every day. Roar, roar. And a large pike, hot, very hot in the hand. We started with Dunkin' and now we're getting Starbucks. All right, bingo, we're gonna walk in here. Let's see what's going on. And we found the Central Marketplace. This is kind of like the newer Chinatown area. Just walked right through this doorway here. Check it out. All right. And here we are. This is the elevator to get to the second floor, right here to the right. But there's shops all the way down, both sides. Check it out. Two levels, all the way that way. And this way. All kinds of shops in here, and food. This restaurant's called Joy Yi Noodle, a pan-Asian cuisine. It looks pretty fancy in there. Really fancy. At the end of the ramp here, the staircase is pretty awesome. You can go up one level. It's more like an observatory up there because there's not a third level. Oh, check it out. So you, I've got the rabbit here. I, I was born during the year of the rabbit. And they have all the, uh, I was, I'm a rabbit. I was born in uh, 87. So there, I told my age. So back home in Tampa, the Chinese spot, uh, Chris the girl and I go, 
the uh, Howa in South Tampa, they have placemats and they always have the symbols and, and the years here. Here's the year of the bull. It's very important to show this because we're in the Chicago, Chicago Bulls. There's the years down there to represent. If you were born in those years, you're a bull. Mess with a bull, you'll get the horns. It's another Chicago movie reference. John Hughes. Breakfast Club. First time I've been in this plaza. I really enjoy it. It's pretty cool just walking around, checking it out. The sun's going down over there, and it's getting cooler. A lot of people out here checking out the statues. Just like us. Just like these guys. I was making his video as well. Max. Fool. A You're a tiger? You're a tiger? I love the tiger. I'm a, I'm a rabbit. It's next to the tiger. It's right next to it. King KTV. Check it out. Hung Seng Square. Right here at the end of the mall we just walked through. Check it out. I don't know what's going on in there, but it looks cool. I like the sign. I like it a lot. A lot. And here comes another train heading south. Hey, thankfully so far, I haven't almost been hit with a bus. That's a thing here on this channel. It's happened a few times. If you've been watching, paying attention, you know I've been very lucky. All right, guys, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Give it a thumbs up right there. There's a tiger right here behind me. Check it out. Right there, roar. Okay, there's much ahead in Chicago. See you next time. All right, boys, where do we park? Somewhere back in here. Back there. All right. Hopefully tomorrow the Rays will win. I'm getting, we're getting tired of this losing streak. I'm sensing a, a there's a theme here. Losing? Oh, that's that's not cool. That's not cool. <laughs> tomorrow it's gonna change. Tomorrow. That just made always you tomorrow. <laughs> I hope we win. We got to do it. Either, oh, we'll see. All right, that's it. Peace out, Rays Nation. Subscribe below. See you next time. I'm Tampa J. This is Adam the Woo. And Max, Cowbell Max. I'm vlogging here. All right, we found our car. See you next time, guys. Much ahead in Chicago still. Much ahead. See you later. Bye-bye.